I stepped up here and I said, who are we? Where are we? And uh, I feel like that's still appropriate for what I'd like to say. So starting out, where are we? Well, we are at Status, the traditional territory of the Wissanic and the Haukamunum First Nations. And also this is our home. And that's the who are we part. And three years ago, I asked uh, what we might become. And uh, we're becoming and becoming and becoming more and more expressive, creative, um, coming out of the closet, connecting with other dimensions. And you'll see that tonight in Night Walk, which is the Zoo Islander performance that you'll see today. I'm really pleased to see everyone here. And you're actually very lucky to have a seat because we really sold out quickly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this is something we're all witnessing together. And we're very lucky to be here together to experience this. And the thing that I'm most thrilled about is that this show is growing. And it's not only um, almost as many people that we have here in the audience in the show, but also people in the audience are dressed up. Yeah. And that's what Zoo Island is all about. Yeah. So it's uh, a chance to wear clothes that we don't ever get to wear, such as this robe. Yes. Found in a Paris thrift store. Adrian Schaumberger and Josephine Spaxman. Enjoy the show, So our first act tonight is um, put on by Hoops and Who Knows. And you it's an amazing performance piece. These gals look amazing. And it is dedicated to the memory of Devin Jones. So everyone give a warm round.
Well, how about that, ladies and gentlemen? All right, this, this, uh, and the like, and the like, uh, how is it called a shtick? Look at how he shtick. cleaned up. Well, first of all, we should talk about that new to you walk. That was amazing. That was fantastic. I never see those kinds of things there to you. But that's no, that's because those people all work there and they steal them all. They don't steal them, they might get their sticks. Oh, it's, it's, it's just called high grading. It's called high grading. It's on the list. It's on the list. This next runway takes us to the timeless little town of Riverdale, <laughs> where Archie, Jughead, Betty, Veronica, and the gang have been up to no good as usual. I must warn you to not expect too much homage to the Archie comics you read as a child, but these kids have been through a lot since you last saw them. <laughs> After fighting the gentrification of their hometown, <laughs> getting involved with gangs, chasing down masked murderers, and running from monsters in the woods, we can only expect one thing to be for sure. These kids look damn good. <laughs> In the moment we're
months ago that she wanted to do uh, couture for weddings and couture for funerals. Funerals will come later, but right now we're, we're dealing with weddings. And um, she had a lot of brides come forward and uh, a few others too. There's, and this is a, not a lot of room. Not a lot of room. But this is a wedding party that you're going to see before you. It's beautiful music. So um, please enjoy Wedding for Peter. Madeline Emery, Couture for Wedding.
is a Madeline second one way about called Pucha for Funerals. Uh, featuring, um, we're going to have several movements. Um, the second part is the second song is actually start off with the Sinister Sisters for the Pipeline Resistors. You may recognize some local members of the community in that. I got a little preview of it yesterday. It's very beautiful. So, Kucha for Funerals, Journey of the Souls for Taliqua, J35. Fear not death, your soul is eternal. Attire for unforgettable exits, ancient traditions for the afterlife, and memorial celebrations. Shine lightly. <laughs>
actually mean, you mean, just in case you were wondering. <laughs> so let's let's just all collectively give a big, gigantic, ridiculous. Oh, what happened? Okay, well, I'm gonna have to change again. Almost. No, you don't have to change again. Sorry. One, two, three. Hi! There we go. Thank you. Hi. Next up, we have Shelly Sarah Candace's runway, and I'm so stoked for this. This runway is entitled Little Red Riding Hood. I don't think it's the Little Red Riding Hood that you know. She didn't tell us much. All she wanted to us to convey to you is that this runway is about love, magic, and transformation.
collectively known as Kong on the Mountain Buy our albums, watch our videos. We have in the house tonight, all the way from New York City, Iris Apple, and her friend all the way from England, Mary Quant. Oh my God. Inventor of the miniskirt. Oh really? I want to hear. A, I want to hear a round of applause just for that. I just want to know, Iris, you've been in the business for some time now, quite a while. Uh, what do you think of these young fashion upstarts here on Men Drive? And like, what, uh, what do you see? What do you like? Well, I find the whole show refreshing. That's, that's great. Good, good. So you're liking what you see? <laughs> you. <laughs> Your boyfriend's getting a little frisky. You might want to find a room. Chair just shifted. Is there anything that you'd like to? The earth. <laughs> I have that sort of uh, that happens sometimes. Um, is there any uh, anything that you'd like to tell these people? They're just starting out on their journey um, as fashionistas. <laughs> uh, is there any sagely advice you could offer these young people here on Hendra? I don't know about sagely, but you know, people have been coming up to me all evening and saying, why aren't you in the show? <laughs> You're all in the show. That is my response. I said, you know, all of you in this audience, you don't have to be in the show to be the show. <laughs> Thank you all for being a part of this week. It's a collective, it's a, it's a community thing. Now, Mary, how about the fashion itself? Oh, Mary, oh, oh goodness. You look, you look different in, on TV. Sorry. <laughs> Mary, all the way from England, what do, you, what, what are you liking that you're seeing here of the new fresh fashion? Absolutely just absolutely everything. everything. Oh, we're so honored that you would come all the way across the pond just to be here. That's so wonderful. Give it up for Mary and Mary. <laughs>
crafted by the amazing, talented, really cool, inimitable Izzy Bergwin. <laughs> and it's called Out in the Moonlight. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one sort and another, his mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Boo. <laughs> that very night, in Max's room, the forest grew until his ceiling hung with vines, and the walls became the world all around. An ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through the night and day in the bright moonlight to Pender Island, where the wild things are. <laughs>
London, Paris, New York, Rome, Pandora. So the next, uh, for the third time in a row, we have Amazon G Star. Yeah. This is next. We have Runway designed and created by Angie Bounds and Jennifer Jacobs. They've collaborated on a line of customized workwear for the rising and shining royalty in each of us. Made with reclaimed decadence, valuable vintage and personal treasures upcycled and crafted into dazzling daily wear for the daring. Please welcome, for their third year in a row, Amazon, Amazon Gangsta!
Let's go! Woo!